I'm Martin Somitis, and this is the Slingfin Web Trust. And uh, I've been designing tents for 30 years now, uh, mostly uh, clip tents and pole sleeve tents. And uh, I've come up with something new called the Web Trust. And it's a uh, patented technology that significantly increases the uh, tent strength. I'm just waiting for it to go. If you did this in any other tent on the market, you'd be on the floor. And right now I'm being suspended by a web truss and some tent poles, and that's it. I designed the web truss because I wanted to make a stronger structure, and I wanted to make it easier uh, uh, for mountaineers to use, uh, especially at high altitude and very high winds. Um, the idea, um, the, 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 web, uh, the web truss um, uh, uh, solves some design problems I, I've been trying to solve for many years. I was trying to figure out how to add more uh, strength to the structure without adding a lot of weight. And that's kind of uh, difficult by having a web truss which allowed you to, um, or that guided the poles where they needed to be and where you could not have the tent body uh, with the web truss during setup. Um, it Eventually, you basically have two ways of setting up tents. One is you use clips where the poles clip into the clips, or the other one is you have pole sleeves. Pole sleeves are a lot better for distributing force over a wide range or a large surface area because the seam is sewn continuously into the tent. Clips hold on to one specific place and put more tension on one area. If you're in a really high wind situation, clip tents tend to be favored by mountaineers because you can lay the tent poles down and use the clips to set up the tent body that way so you have less fabric in the wind until you get your structure up. Uh, pole sleeve tents are slightly less desirable for that because you're essentially building a kite until you put your last pole in for structure. The web truss allows you to build this really porous structure like this in high winds. The wind can whip right through here. Then you can put your rain fly over the top of it. Um, another really nice thing is that everything in here is sewn on grain line, so fabric stretches in one, one direction more than it does in the other. And everywhere this fabric is sewn, it's in its least direction of stretch. So you can tighten this entire structure down around the poles, giving a lot of compression. When you put your inner tent inside, that'll put, start putting tension on the inner part of the tent, which is a lot like a bicycle wheel. A bicycle wheel is strong in, uh, by itself, but independently, the pieces aren't as strong as the hole is. By having uh, six equal length poles and continuous pole sleeves, I was able to create a structure where the poles by themselves are uh, put in place and then afterwards you can apply the fly sheet or uh, add the tent body. So if it's raining, for example, you just apply the, the fly sheet first and then you set up the tent body afterwards. So depending on the environmental conditions, you have many different options on uh, the way you set up the tent. Or if you don't want the tent body at all, you can leave that at home and save some weight. The Web Trust has a bunch of different advantages, one being its versatility in different types of weather. Um, because you can have your frame independent of the tent body and the rain fly, you can choose and pick what you want for what type of situation you're in. There have been multiple occasions where I've taken this exact system out to a backpacking trip on the coast of California where it's been really, really windy and cold in the morning and the sun comes out, it hits 80, 90 degrees and by the end of the night it's back to 40 and foggy. So this tent can handle all of those conditions really easily. 